Hi guys, Black is here. All right, people who know me know I'm the kind of person that don't believe everything I see or read online. You know, I take my experience, I've been dealing with cars since I was 14. I take that experience and I put it against whatever the hell I see. You know, sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. I think it works out though. The other day, I'm watching something on YouTube and a Valvoline commercial comes up talking about some restore and protect oil. You know, this oil is, you know, at first they start off, I say all the time, companies create problems that don't exist to get you to buy something you don't need, all right? So they start out, oh, when you buy a brand new car, your engine um, start building up deposit right away. And if you buy this Vaseline, restore and protect, it'll remove those deposits. And I'm like, that's hey, some bull shook, okay? So then I decided, you know what, let me put in Vaseline, restore and protect. Let me see what kind of bull crap they talking. So I was expecting to find a video by them, you know, talking about they oil or whatever. Instead, I find a video by Ford Boss Me. And I'm like, oh my God, this is the, this is, seem like something this fool would try, right? So I watched the video. I didn't want to watch the video, but I watched the damn video. And he's changing oil in the F 150 5.0. I think he mentioned it was his. I think he said that. So anyway, he's talking about this oil. He's old. Oh, oh, it, it'll, it'll clean the engine. Well, he said he believed it'll clean the engine. He, he's going to try and he's going to send the oil off to Blackstone. Whenever I hear somebody mention Blackstones, I think to myself, you are an idiot. Okay. I remember this crap first came out. You know, I worked at, it was back in 2001, I worked at a used, worked at a junkyard. And... They came, it was either them or somebody came up with this talk about Blackstone. And they were trying to, they wanted us to, when we take our engines, they wanted us to uh, send them a sample of the oil and they'll tell us whether the engine is good or bad. You know, they, people ran outside and started drawing oil out their engine. And one guy, I think his name was Tracy or Stacy or something. Heavy, big, heavy set dude. He went out, he had a, like a, I don't know, Ford Explorer, a newer one. And he went out there and draw some oil out and he sent it to them and they sent it back and said it was too much of something in the engine and said that his bearing was going bad prematurely and he tried to go back to the dealership and try to get them to put a motor, the damn motor ran fine, right? The oil fine. But anyway, he tried to get them to replace his engine. They told him to go, you know, go sit on the egg. But in the case, I'm not, I'm not saying it's bull crap. I'm saying it's bull crap. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. But it gives people who don't know much about cars something they can experiment around. You know, someone told me a long time ago. The reason people like cold air intake, throttle body space, all that bull crap is it gives them some, it gives a person who don't know how to work on cars a chance to work on a car. And stupid people, they don't care whether they're making the car better or worse. They just care about working on the car. You know. Anywho, would I buy um I I sent a message to one of my fans and I asked them had they seen the video and they said they had and they was thinking about trying this oil. I didn't even say anything. I'm, I'm not saying anything. Try it. Do whatever you want. It's your car. I don't care. Would I try it? Hell no. Do I think it's a waste of money? Mm, if the price is the same as the regular oil, no, it's not a waste of money. If the price is higher than the regular oil, yeah, it's a waste of money. Because anybody who change their oil when you're supposed to change their oil, don't have to worry about deposit, okay? 
Do do deposit actually form? Yes, of course. Deposit forms on the you know they show like the near the crank pin of the bottom of the pistol. Man, that don't mean any damn thing. It don't do anything. It don't do anything. My 96 Tahoe, when I rebuilt the engine, you know, I changed my oil every 5,000 miles. The engine had over 300,000. And I was surprised at how much gunk was around the oil control rings in the bottom of the piston. Deposits, as they say. I was surprised a lot of them. But then I said to myself, the engine does have 300,000 miles, okay? The engine did not smoke at all. It used like I think I had to put a quarter oil in it, either a quarter oil or half a quarter oil every 5,000 miles. It was no more than that, no more. So I'm like, apparently deposit don't mean a damn thing, okay? But people, again, people, people are bored. People have money to spend. They say that's how the economy works. People see stuff advertised and they want to try it. They got nothing else to do. Would again, would I try? Hell no. My F 150, I put motocraft synthetic blend. People tell me you synthetic is better, but Ford put synthetic blend in there. Well, if Ford trying to be cheap, if Ford were trying to be cheap, they would have used one turbo instead of two. But whatever, man. Again, my truck is 105,000. My last oil change, the oil was. 8,500 miles. Did I have to add an oil in 8,500 miles? No. Was it low? It wasn't low. It was down about a quart, but it wasn't low. But again, 8,500 miles, and it was only down maybe a quart. That's damn good. And it's got 105,000 miles? Man, whatever, man. Buy it. Buy it. I don't care. It's, it's on you. It's on you. You know, Technically, my truck has got 105,000 miles, so people will say, it's got more than 75,000 miles. It's high miles. You need to switch to high miles motor oil. Motorcraft, as far as I know, don't make um, high miles motor oil. They just make motor oil. So I'm going to use motor oil. Am I ever going to switch to high miles? Hell no. My Tahoe, when it had 300,000 I never switched to high mileage. And even though people told me, you need to for what? The owner's manual don't say nothing about changing the oil, changing over to high mileage motor oil. No owner's manual will say anything about changing to high mileage motor oil. Okay? But something else, you're probably asking, well, Black, why did you have to rebuild a Tahoe engine at 300,000 miles? The damn heads would crack. The heads would crack. And I'm going to tell you why I think the heads would crack. Uh, what it was doing was it was getting oil in the water. The water and oil, I'm sorry. And it had been getting water in the oil for a while. I just didn't know it. And what I'm saying, whenever I changed the oil, I noticed that the oil had a a slight, not milky look. It just had a slight orange color to it. So it was starting to turn milky. It had been doing that for a while, but I didn't think much about it. Now, what I think, I'm telling you what I think cracked the heads, and this was my fault. I thought my temperature gauge always showed like it was cool. So I'm thinking the engine was running too cool. So my dumb ass tied up the cooling fan, tied up the cooling fan. It was a clutch cooling fan. I tied it up, and I used to drive around with, about the, with the cooling fan tied up, and the temperature would run halfway. I'm thinking that the truck was running, you know, halfway. Apparently, it was running three quarters. So I think, well, once one night, this was when I worked at my old job. I was on my way home, and I was falling asleep, and I didn't want to crash, so I pulled into a gas station and went to sleep and left the engine running. It was doing, it was real cold outside. I left the engine running. I wake up, I hear this bubbling sound. I look down, the temperature gauge is all the way on two, whatever, it's maxed out. So I cut the engine off, jumped out of the truck, popped the hood, unhooked the cooling fan, got back in, crunked the engine up. The temperature quickly came down. The motor ran fine. I never noticed anything. 
So I wonder did the head, I mean, now that was, I don't know, maybe 200,000 miles. I'm just guessing. I really don't remember. But again, around 300,000, water started getting in the oil. So I wonder if I hadn't did that to my engines early, would the heads not crack? I don't know. Having a question, comments, leave me. Dre, y'all have a good day.